this is uh, David Smith. I'm at the uh, Game Career Fair in uh, London. I'm fortunate to have with me Nick Burton, executive producer from Rare. Nick, please, uh, can you introduce yourself? Yes, so uh, my name's Nick Burton. I've been a game developer for about 12 years now, and uh, I'm currently exec producer for communications and technology. Very good, and tell us uh, more about um, Rare. I think you're part of the Microsoft Game Studios? Yes, yeah, so uh, most part of the Microsoft Game Studios, we have been since 2002. We've actually got a long pedigree in the UK games industry, though. Uh, it's our 25th anniversary this year. And we actually came out of the ashes of an 8-bit developer many years ago called we to play the game. Obviously, we're much better known these days for some of our work with Nintendo, um, around the turn of the century, things like GoldenEye, Donkey Kong. And then looking towards our work with Microsoft now, we've worked on the launch of the Xbox 360, coming with the power of what we've done. We've done games like Pinata, and we're now just about to launch Connect Sports. Fantastic. Um Tell us about your role at um, Rare and how you came to be working at the company. So, um, many years ago I did a computer systems degree, so a hardcore computer degree, and then uh, stayed on and did research into the PhD at the university for four years. And I realised that a lot of the skills I gained there could be used in the computer games business. So, I started looking around for work, got a job at Rare, so 12 years ago, and I've been working there since I cut my teeth as a software engineer, just, you know, almost like a job in code as a work trying to find my feet. And then I've sort of worked my way up through the studio, became a uh, senior engineer, a lead engineer, and then got very involved with Connect two years ago because of my process and background. So bringing the research I'd learned many years ago back into games, and then now I've got myself as an exec producer. So now I've looked to a lot of communication stuff, both internally with Microsoft, and externally uh, with other things just like this, as well as uh, looking forward to new technologies, which was one of the reasons I was very involved in it. Fantastic. And uh, why would you say Rare is a, a great place to work? Um, there's a number of reasons. One of the things, being part of a major platform holder like Microsoft allows you to really have a lot of involvement with new hardware and to help drive the direction. That's certainly something that you've done with Connect. It also gives you a lot more freedom than you might expect to actually experiment with new game ideas. Uh, certainly some of the things we've done like the Pingata have turned well, turn into a full game because we've been allowed to experiment a little bit more and how to be this morning, dependency. Very good, and um, I think you're based in uh, Tycross in the Midlands. Um, why, why, what's attractive about uh, um, working in the, uh, and living in the Midlands? Okay, so we actually have two sites. We have our Tycross site, which is rural, and we have a beautiful site, 90 acres of parkland, custom built facility, very, very nice. Um, and we also have a central Birmingham studio as well, uh, in Denver where we do more of sort of our art production work. So we've got two different locations that people kind of choose to work from. Being in the Midlands though allows us to you know, have people living in, you can choose to live in a little village if you like, or if you want to, like certainly I live just on the outskirts of Nottingham, I commute to work. But because I'm commuting out of the city rather than into it, it actually makes it very easy. Likewise, if you want to live in Birmingham, you don't want to drive, you can actually work to our, you know, work to our central Birmingham. And finally, what advice would you give uh, a job seeker looking to apply for a job with Rare? Um, I think uh, I'd like to say more general advice rather than just advice about Rare is concentrate on the fundamental skills. Like if you want to be a programmer, make sure your programming skills, your mathematics, those kind of software engineering, they're really good. It's very good to wrap those up into something like a game demo when you're looking for it. But that's not necessarily the be all and Likewise, for an artist, you know, concentrate on things like the core animation or life drawing skills. Don't necessarily just concentrate on games, but just want to look at transferable skills as well as skills that you can apply on day one. Nick Burton, exec producer at uh, Rare, thank you very much. Thank you very much.